Hello, this is Saturday, and I want to welcome everyone to my channel. For those that have never been here before, my name is Beth, and I am so glad that you're here. Uh, for my subscribers, or for those that have been here many times before, thank you so much for coming back. We are going to do casting today. I want to cast these dragons. I have something I want to try. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. And as always, we're going to find out together. I don't do this prior to uh, videotaping it. Um, we're going to cast these right now. These are the Let's Resin. Hear no evil. See no evil. Speak no evil. Little dragons. They're just as cute as a button. Uh, I do have my water already measured out. I don't know if it's going to take one for each one, but I've got three measured out. I also have my powder already measured out. We're just going to do them white. I do have some popsicle sticks, but I did buy these measuring things at Timu, so we're going to try these out too. I'm going to move all this off to the side. I'm not going to add any color. I think I already said that. but I pour about half the powder in there. And I just give it a good stir. So it's easier to mix. And it is most definitely easier to mix if you pour the powder into water. And I may not need three. make sure that all the lumps are out and this little mixing thing does work better than the popsicle sticks or the tongue dis depressors whatever you want to call them I'm just making sure that I've got all the lumps out which I think I do have I'm just going to wipe it off so I can reuse it. We are going to pour this in. Of course, I'm going to do the little shimmy shimmy shake. <laughs> Look at that. Did you see that? Oh, that would have made a cool picture with that thing coming up like that. I think about the weirdest thing sometimes. I'm not filling it up all the way yet because I want to shake it. See if I can't get those air bubbles out. Because there are a lot of details in this mold. So, just want to make sure. Okay. And once I've got that done enough, I'm going to fill this up all the way. And then we're going to start on the next one. I'm going to try not to move that. Okay, and we're going to pour this one. And the same, I'm going to pour it about halfway. Then I'm going to give it a good shake. Making sure there's no air bubbles getting caught down in there. Let's 
so I can see bubbles. So let me just keep going. Oh, almost. Do I have almost enough to do this one? Oh, that would be great if one will do two. I'm on my last bucket of this stuff, y'all. My last bucket. I don't know what I'm going to do when I'm out. I'm going to be sad. That's what it is. I'm going to be sad. My budget for this month has already been spent. So when I'm out, I'm out. And I'll just go on to something else. Okay. So I got two out of the what they call an extra large mold with their measurements. I got two uh, of the Let's Resin dragon molds done so i'm going to pull another mold over here and i want to do this one i want to try it so we're going to set that over there and i am going to pour another whole one and i think you can still see me but you don't really need to see me do this you've seen me do this many many times before this is just for newcomers That may not have seen me, but I have many, many, many breweries mixed mold videos on my channel now. You can tell how much I love it because I have so many videos. And it's not everybody's cup of tea, and I understand that. We all have our passions, and they're all different, and that's what makes this world so great and so unique. You know how boring it would be if everybody was exactly like? Oh my gosh. That wouldn't be no fun at all. mixed up really well now this takes 60 minutes they say to demold now I'll tell you Rose has been putting her stuff in her curing machine so I thought about putting the Let's Resin machine over the top of this, if it's tall enough, and putting it on and just seeing what happens. That would be cool if it cured it a whole lot faster, huh? Okay, once again... I'm going to wipe my mess. I'm going to stick this right here. We're going to pour this down in here, not all the way. And I'm doing the shimmy shimmy shake. And for all of y'all that don't know, one of my watchers came up with that phrase. And she said, oh, Beth, you're doing the shimmy shimmy shake. And ever since I've heard that, I've adopted it. And I'm going to declare that as my, there is something black in here that must have been in the mold. It's floating around. I don't know where it is. This seems awfully runny. And I'm hoping I'm not making a mistake. But I followed the measurements. So we're going to go with it.
does not seem to be holding up right. Let me turn this around and use that as a support because that doesn't seem to be holding it up like it's supposed to. Okay, and I'm going to push this over here because I am going to put the Let's Resin thing over the top of it. And let's just see. I'm pouring it on top of this where all the, the detail is. Now that would be wonderful if there was enough to do both of these molds, but there is not going to be. Shimmy, shimmy, shake though on that. We're just going to mix up a little bit. And yep, I'm going by my feel with this one. I'm just going to say. This is going to be good right here. That's crazy. That is not strong enough. Okay. Maybe that's supposed to be open right there. Yes, I did over pour. Should I try to take that off? Probably not, but that bothers me. So I am going to try. really bothers me y'all no I'm making a mess handle a little bit you know over pour I don't want it to be so much that it, it affects the, the mold so okay I'm gonna stop at that point And since I've got so much powder left over here, 
I am going to pour one more thing. And I promise I am trying desperately not to make this a very long video. I did not mind making the last two long because I got a lot accomplished in both those last two videos. And watching a two and a half and three hour video may seem extreme. And I understand that. But it's no difference than watching two one one and a half hour one hour videos, uh, you know, side by side. Um, and you do have the option of playing it a little bit faster at, at 1.2 or 1.5 speed. You can still get the gist of it at that speed and it goes by a lot faster. Or you can fast forward. Uh, okay. I think I sort of want to do this. And I'm going to want to marbleize. I'm going to play around with this. I just poured it all in there. And I'm going to need more water. And let's see, do I have a brown color? I sort of want to marbleize with brown. So let's see what I've got in here. Uh, that's Jay Dixon's brown. Let's go with that. Because I like Jay Dixon's pigment colors. I wish I liked their... Uh, Resincrete, I really do. I tried it. I was one of the first people to to do it, and I tried desperately. It just didn't work good for me. I don't know. Maybe I'm not holding my breath right. Okay, here we go. Oh, that's perfect. I got just enough in here. Just enough to fill this up with. Oh, that is cool, cool, cool. Cool as a cucumber. I don't know where all these phrases come from. I've heard them all my life, though. That I do know. Okay, we're going to put this up. We're going to put this glass over here. And I've got that holding that. Oh, wow. Okay. And I will come back when these are cured. Okay, we're back. I'm not sure if they're ready. Uh, I went ahead and poured these. I, I wasn't going to. But I put the Let's Resin <laughs> Cure Machine on there. And I didn't realize, but I went to check it, and the middle part of the curing machine stuck in there. So I had to make some more up to refill the bottom of this. I have no idea what the inside of this is going to look like, because there was a definite mark, a great mark, and it had pulled up some of the 
uh, casting powder off of that. So the bottom may be totally messed up. But I had to make more up. So I went ahead and did these. This is the mold that I got yesterday. And I didn't fill them up all the way, as you can see. But I just wanted to see. And I absolutely love these. Now, I probably didn't fill them up enough to make them stand up on their own. But I've got this little easel. And I can make little easels for those to set on. So, I'm okay with that too. Especially for just trying them out. And I just took this same thing that I had mixed up. Uh... But I absolutely love those. Will that one set up by itself? Oh, that one stands up by itself right there. There's an air bubble there and there's one right there. But I can sand that down. And I'm not going to do that right now because y'all have seen me do it. I'm going to take this one out. Now, I just poured these not too long ago. So I'm sort of amazed that they're coming out of the mold so well oh yeah now there is an air bubble there and an air bubble there but it's not anything that I can't fix and I didn't really shake these is that an air bubble no that's just oh yeah it is but it's the colorant that's in there oh that's wild Okay, you're going to hear the dog barking because I think that's John and Ashley coming in upstairs. And this, I, I love these. And there's a little air bubble there, but I can fix, I, I'm not worried about air bubbles. Not if it's just one or two. Those are very, very fixable. So, yeah. What do y'all think about this set? And I'm going to pull you down a little bit more. I'm going to get them right up underneath the camera. And I'm going to pull it down a little bit. So you can see them a little bit closer. So let me know what you think about this set. That was one of the new molds that I got off of Timu yesterday. And I really like those. Let me see. Why is the light not got my light on is that better okay and we're going to set these off to the side to dry and we're going to keep unmolding I wanted to show this to you. I don't know if everybody realized that this, I showed this on the end of the video uh, last night, but I did show the finished product on the end of the video. But if you didn't, if you stopped uh, after I said goodbye and you didn't notice it, then th this is the finished piece with the resin uh, on it. And, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I think it turned out great. And I am turning the light on a little bit. Uh, I love the colors in it. And I like the back too. I think the back looks cool. So, I just wanted to show that to you while I had it in my hand. And now I'm going to put it up somewhere. And this one is lopsided. I can tell already. Let me wipe this off real quick where they were at. But we're going to go ahead, and I think I'm probably going to be returning this mold, but I wanted to see if it, if it would work before I did, and I don't think it's going to. So for $9, I'm not going to keep a mold that doesn't work for me. Uh, but we'll find out. But it looks warped, and it's supposed to be straight. And, and I had to, in order for 
me to get it that way, I had to put something next to it, or it would have been bulging out even further. So, now let me get out. Ed. Okay. Wow. Oh, the detail on that, though, is exceptional. Oh, I just wish it wasn't wonky. Look, see, it bulges there, and it bulges. It goes in here, and it bulges there. And I know, it, see, I know it's not supposed to be like that, okay? So as much as I like this right here, I can't keep it because you, you see that, you see how it goes in and it, it's, it's a mold that is not made right. And you see this section right here, that's not what's supposed to happen either. It's a poorly made mold and I'm going to have to return it and I hate it. But that's the only way I was able to know if I needed to. Because the detail inside is, I absolutely love that. Even down to the little bitty tiling on the back wall. And let me bring it up. Ken, so you can see the detail a little bit better. See, the detail is awesome. It really, really is. But it's, it's, see, it's, it's not right. And I hate that. Oh, I so hate that. But I don't have any choice. It doesn't even stand. It rocks, y'all. It rocks back and forth. It doesn't even stand. Look at that. Okay, let me take it back out again. Oh, yeah, I hate it. But you, you can see, it's rounded right there. It's rounded right here. I mean, it's... It, it's just a poorly made mold. So, for a $9 mold, I, I don't have any choice. I'm going to have to return this mold right here. And I hate it. Because I really, really wanted that mold. And I'm going to look at it. I want to see where the imperfections are. Yeah, you can see them. Y you see the wrinkles? You, you, do you see that? They're in there. And it's... The the way... It, see how it goes in? It shouldn't go in like that. It should go straight. But it's it's bulging out that way. And this is keeping it in. You, you can see it in the mold. Oh, well. Yeah, I hate that. Okay, but it answered my question. So, if y'all see that mold and you were thinking about purchasing it, my suggestion would be, don't do it. Okay. This is still warm. But we're going to go ahead and try. <laughs> I don't have much hopes for this because the, of the, the curing machine getting down in there and uh, messing up the bottom. But I'm hoping that this is a flexible enough mold to be able to get out fairly easy. And I used the J-Diction pigment. And y'all saw me do that. I sort of just marbleized it, but I think it mixed it up more than what I was hoping for. I was wanting more of a, just a, a real light color. 
with some browns going through and that's not what I got and I got a whole lot of bubbles yeah see that's where the that's where the machine went which actually I like that the best of all I do not like the coloring of it and I don't know why I got all these bubbles right here but boy, there's a bunch of them. I'm going to have to pour this again in all white and see how it, it comes out. I can paint this, so, I mean, not all is lost. And I can dry brush over it. I really like that part. The part that I messed up is the part that I like. How weird is that? Okay. But that's that's what it looks like. And it's pretty mold. It's a very, very pretty mold. So I'm happy with mold. I'm not happy with the color of it. And here's the spotlight molds. They're still a little bit warm. But let's hope. These are all white. I mean, let's just hope they all come out in one piece. So I can do what I'm hoping I can do with it. And I'm going to try to just roll the mold down. I don't know if that's going to work. But that's what I'm hoping for. Now these molds came from Let's Resin. easy to get out. Let me... I do have air bubbles. Goodness. Okay. Yeah, I've got some air bubbles in it, but not anything that I'm too concerned about. That's what that one looks like. That one on its ear. Oh, these are cute, though. You're no evil. Let me flip this back in. Okay. Let's take the second one out. I'm just trying to roll the mold. Just pulling and rolling. I lost part of the ear there. There are air bubbles. 
but it's still cute as a button. Okay, let me see. Why did I lose an ear? No, I didn't lose a whole ear. I just lost a part of one. I don't see it either. Hmm. But none of it is nuts. I mean, it's all fixable. Even that. And I am going to do this piece just just enough to round it off. I'm not going to go get water and do all that, but because I want to go ahead and do what I was planning on doing. And since these are sort of just a tester, um, okay. Once again, I'm trying to roll. This one's not as easy as the other. This one is see no evil. It's about a baby because the other ones speak no evil and hear no evil. So the hands are going above the eyeballs. So that's probably why it's so thick at the top. Oh, goodness. Oh, these are cute, cute, cute. Oh, wow. That one, I don't see any air bubbles. Oh, that's just as smooth as satin right there. Air bubbles on the toes, but that's okay. There's one little air bubble there. Oh, there's a big air bubble there. You can't hardly tell it, though. It sort of blends in. Okay. Now, I don't think this is going to work. What I wanted to do, I can't find the product I was going to do it with. So, um, and I didn't want to have to spend a lot of time looking for it. So, I changed it up at the last minute. I want to color these. I want to color these with intense chameleon powders. But, of course, normally you do that with resin and you do it before it cures. Now, my question is... I, I almost know the answer to the first one, but we're going to try it because, you know, sometimes when you assume, it's not good. So, I have these. I've had these, oh, for years and years and years. Got them off of Etsy. I want to see if it's going to stick. No. No, it's not going to stick. Okay, that's what I wanted to see. Now that I've got it everywhere, it's funny how the black is stuck in the cracks. Though. Which, oh my, that could be another video altogether. Okay, so now... 
You know, I have this mixed to mild gloss sealer that I don't really like. <laughs> but I have to use it. So I thought, well, if I have to use it, let's experiment with it. Maybe I can find something I do like using it with. So. I'm going to, this is just off the top. So I'm putting it in the, the sealer to see if I can get the same color without losing it. And I think I've already lost it. Yeah, I have. It turned gray. Okay, so I want you to see this. It turned gray. That's the base part of it. And that's all you're going to see. It's the gray. Hmm. Okay. I'm still not done. I'm still not through. I do use very little, okay? I don't want to waste all that, but you got to have some to test it out with, so. I'm using alcohol to break the powder down. But you know, y'all have heard that so many times. What's the powder being broke down? Okay, you still have the color. The color is still there. Here we go. You know, glue is... Oops, we have a sealer too, okay. So we're going to try the glue and we're going to add a little bit of water. Oh, this might work, y'all. Oh, this will be fun, fun, fun. Hold on, i got to open up another whole gallon of water over here. Oh. This thing's heavy, heavy. Oh, I'm going to lose it, aren't I? I guess I better hurry. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit of water in with the glue. Now, the purpose of this is trying to get that mica powder on something that normally would not take it. I showed you it did not take it before. Have we lost it again? Let me add a little bit more. Just a brushful. Okay, since I added the water. That's not what the one I was doing. This is the one I was doing. Can we get the color? Or are we just getting... No, we're just getting the gray. But, okay. I'm not done yet. I'm not quite done. Okay, it's still wet. We're getting a little bit of the... Here we go. Oh yeah, here we go. I'm 
Now we're getting the color. Y'all see that? I'm bringing one. Can you see? You're even, you're even getting the chameleon effect. Let me get this. I used to do this all the time with my alcohol inks. That's what I have these for. You can tell it's got alcohol. Uh ink in there there's a plug in here that you have to take out i've got a whole set of these and they're great with alcohol inks because you put the alcohol in them and normally i have a funnel to do this with don't put the the plug back in it it's supposed to help regulate it But I see, I find that it, it, it hurts it. There it goes. I've never showed you this, but I've got bukus of these. But basically, I, I've used these for my alcohol inks. I've always just used a brush. And see, I don't like that with this. It works wonderful with the the alcohol inks, but it does not get in there like you need. You don't have the you don't have the control and the force. Like you do with just a brush with alcohol. But they are wonderful with alcohol inks. And that's what I use mine for. But no, I don't like that. I'll just use my regular brush with my alcohol. Because that is... Uh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Let me get another one that is not ruined, but is small, and I can control it more. Yeah, that's what I want. There we go. I can control that one a whole lot more. Oh, look at the blue I'm getting. Oh, I sort of like that, too. Y'all just need to play around with this. And I know it looks like I'm making a big mess, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to paint this on here and just see what happens. Now, yes, this has got glue. But I want to see... The color I get. I sort of like that color over there. Okay, let's open up another one. I don't know what this is. I've had these so long, I don't know what the colors are, y'all. I really don't know the colors. 
It's more of a pink. And that's not covering like the purple did. Mm -mm. And is it because maybe I need to do this on black? Because I don't like that right there. As y'all know, I don't give up. But I like that leg, though. I like the texture in that leg. This does not have the same texture. This leg does not have the texture in it like that one does. Hmm. That's a little odd. Okay. Let's try this one. We're going to try them all. I haven't... I haven't played with these in a long, long time. And what I probably should be doing is having a mixture of just glue and uh, water to dunk the each different color of mica in. Because basically right now, they're all going to have the purple tint because that's the color I'm putting it in Ooh, that's pretty though I like that blue These are intense colors. Okay, what do we have over here? That's almost the same color as what I just, that's a little bit different, but not enough to make a difference on there. Okay, let's find a different color. I want green. Can I have a green? Oh, there we go. You gotta have that you gotta have that mixture. It's gotta be on the piece or it does not stick. But it definitely sticks to it if you have it. And I'm just getting a little bit. As you can see, boy, it picks up that color a lot.
Wow. Y'all see that? <laughs> okay, let's see what other color. Who we have blue? Do we have a blue on here already? Well, sort of, but let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that's a pretty blue right there. Okay, I'm taking this off. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. We're going to see if that works with it being wet. Okay. Dab, and there's not much in the lid. So let's get some in the lid. Let's do part of the head. I'm just getting it. Is that a chameleon powder? I don't think that's a chameleon powder. What is that? Let me look and see what this is. This is Nick Pro. Okay, well, we have to finish it. So let's get it even across. This is not going to work the same way. We've got to get some on here, so. There we go. There, it's getting a little bit more intense. But I don't like that. Okay, we got to stick with the... Uh, That didn't work out real well, so let's stick with the Lutz Resin. What is that? Oh, that's Nick Pro 2. All I've got is reds. There's a copper. Okay, let me try the copper. I know, I'm making a big old mess. I'm trying to ignore it. But I'm playing around trying to... That's not copper. That does not look like copper to me. Oh, that does. Okay. Now remember, this has got glue in it. So it should seal it also. But we'll try and see. Well, it's dry already. little horns going I 
It's its little nose. I wish I had a blue, a really bright, vivid blue. I got purple. Can't believe that I don't have any really good intense. It's Nick Pro and it's not working. So I'm not going to be able to have blue on there. Because see, this is the Nick Pro and as pretty as it looks. It's not working. Let me try one more thing. Let me just try it. It's too pretty not to try. Let's have a lot of that part right there. Probably way too much. And I've got glue. We're going to mix that up really, really good. There's no water in this. This is nothing but alcohol, mica, and glue. And we're mixing it up. And then we're going to try something. See, it's just not pigmented enough. It doesn't have that vibrancy like the the intense does. Even if you put it over, you're just not getting. Well, I tried Nick Pro. I did. So let's try the grain. See the grain? You can tell. The grain just pops when you put it on there. That's what I was hoping the blue would do. But it doesn't. He used to be a psychedelic frog. No, he's not a frog. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Dragon. It's going to be a psychedelic, all different color. I'm basically just testing out the theory of being able to do this. And, of course, now I know that I can. I will get colors that I need to do it the colors that I want. Right now, I don't have them. So, I'm just playing with what I've got. I want a really pretty, vibrant blue. That's my color. That is my favorite color. But you have to admit, boy. Now, let me tell you. <laughs> this is going to be a one of a kind. Never seen before. Whether it's good or bad, I don't know. But.
Okay. I don't think I'm going to paint this whole thing because it will make for a really long video again. But I think y'all have seen what I'm doing. Right? I'm going to switch over to that blue. And I'm just putting a light coat just to get it started. You see what I'm doing? I'm just picking it up in here. And just a light so I can get more mica where I want it. And I'm going to let that dry. definitely don't get brush marks this way and you do woo, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> and you do get uh, vibrant chameleon I'm going to mix it with the, the green again. And I am mixing colors. I like mixing colors. I don't like having the same. Since I can't have blue, I guess I'm going to go with more green. Let me look at these other ones, but I don't think that's a gold. Well, let's see what the gold looks like. This is Let's Resin. I do know that I want to be looking for the intense uh, chameleon powders on uh, Amazon now for the Where's the top? It's pretty dry too, so. We are going to have to seal this, though. Which is okay. What is that? Why is it doing that? That's weird. Like taking the paint off. I didn't do that with any of the other. But it is with the gold. That's odd.
Maybe I need more. Okay. I'm putting glue. Just straight glue. I just want to see something here. This is how I learn. This is how I figure out, well, is it going to work? Is it not going to work? Am I going to like it? Am I going to hate it? Okay. It's the glue that's allowing the mica to go on here. It is the glue. So very little water. And glue. Okay. And I will tell you my idea. I could not, and I will be doing this in the future. I could not find it, but my idea was to get tacky glue uh, and put all over the piece because it stays sticky. And with it staying sticky, it would give something for the mica to attach to. Because I knew the mica wouldn't attach to this. But I could not find the tacket glue. And so I thought, well, I'll, I'll try this. Uh, but I will be finding my tacket glue. It is somewhere. Uh, it may be upstairs. I'm just going to use glue right now to get this on here. There it goes. See, I'm rubbing it off by holding on to it so it's not totally dry but you get you, you get the the drift of it and you can see I, I think the tacket glue would have worked so much better because you could have just put it on there let it dry it still is tacky it, it would give something for the mica to stick to and uh, you could have just painted it and not had to worry about any of this other I'm trying to get my purple. I do like to at least get the color similar on each side when I'm painting. But because I'm not really taking care in exactly what I'm doing with this piece. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted to see if you could use the intense chameleon powders on a uh, piece like this. And you can. Now, you know, I'm wearing it out by holding on to it and putting pressure on it. And not letting it dry good. So I suggest you let the front dry 
for a bit and then go on from there. But we're going to use the heat gun and see if it won't work. What am I at? I'm at an hour and 17 minutes. I'm going to try to get this one piece completely painted before I end the video. So I'm going to be speeding this up just a little bit. And it's just that I want you to see you got to have something that's going to hold the color onto the piece. Oh, I just broke the toes. Oh, Lord, I just broke the toes because I slammed it down. Y'all don't do this. Y'all be careful with your pieces. <laughs> but, yeah, I just broke the toes off from slamming it down. Of course, I should just now be taking it out of the mold, okay? And and you you should let this cure before you ever even attempt to do this. You should let it cure the 48 hours before you even attempt to put paint on it. This is not the norm. Don't take it right out of the mold early and then just start slapping paint on it. I'm doing it so I can show you because I don't have... I can't pour something and then wait 48 hours. I don't have that capability with my phone. Unless I did one video a week. And then if I did one video a week, I could do that. But because I'm putting out almost a video a day, I don't, I don't have the capability of, of waiting. So I'm trying to dry this so I'm not removing it as I touch it. And I'm going to see if I can't... I can't go back over those poor little toes. That I just broke off. Poor, poor little toes. Okay. Okay. Just so they're not totally wet. And we're almost at the finish line. We don't have much more to go. And I'm going to slop it on there. I'll be quite honest with you. I'm not going to give it much thought. I'm just going to be putting different colors on trying to Get it all covered up. I got it all covered. 
almost. Okay, and then I'm going to do the copper because that's the copper is on the horns. So we'll follow that all the way down. Not dry back there. Okay, let's dry this. Nope. Can I just hit the silly thing again? Okay, and I want to show you if I can find what I did with them. I just got them in from Amazon. No, from Timu. And I was going to see if they would work with these for y'all. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to find what I did with them now. I thought I threw them up here. Now I don't see them, and that was those laser sticker dragon eyes. And I thought I'd put them right up here so I'd know where they were. And of course, I didn't. I'm going to look in here real quick. If not, we're just going to have to wait. But I'm almost positive I did not put them in here. And I was in and out of this a couple of times yesterday. So maybe I did without realizing it. But no. I don't think they're in here. I don't think I'm going to be able to show y'all. I think I put them right up here, though. I knew I was going to be doing those. One more post stickers that I used. Nope. Nope, nope, and nope. y'all but I don't know what I did with them once again I hid them from myself because that would 
looks really cool on here. Well, if they would have fit. And that's what I wanted to see. I'm going to pause you for a minute and see if I can't find them. Hello, I am back. And while I was on pause, I did find the, uh, the laser stickers. And although they don't fit perfectly, they work. And I went ahead and did all of them. Now, I should have waited till they dried. And it would have been so much easier on me. I did use the glue and the alcohol and the mica powder uh, method. Mixing it all together, putting it on, and then rubbing more mica powder after it dried a little bit. I think my idea of putting tacket glue all over the pieces, let it dry, it stays sticky, then use your mica, and it would have worked perfectly. And I will be trying that again. I just could not find my tacket glue. It's probably upstairs. Um, and I, I think that would work perfectly because the glue with the alcohol, of course, the alcohol breaks the mica powders down. We know what that is. The glue... It is a, um, what do you want to call it, em emulsifier maybe, and it sort of combines the, uh, with the mica, and because the glue is sticky and it will adhere, it makes the mica sort of adhere to a, a, a porous surface that it normally would not adhere to. Um, so it does work, and... <laughs> As fast as I did these, and I did these so super fast, I pretty much just blobbed it on there wherever I could get blob it on there. I think they're adorable. Um, the eyes, they do sparkle, even though they're a little bit... And, and the chameleon powders, uh, they change colors so wonderfully. And then you have that one. I did not do the eyes on that one because, but the, the colors are just tremendous. And then you have that one. And that one, of course, has the eyes. And they're laser cut, so when the light hits them, but the, the chameleon powders work wonderfully on these. And so... I'm, I'm happy with this set. Uh, I am happy with the little hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil little dragons. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Dan just got home. I need to run upstairs and get him some supper around the table. Uh, I am going to take a break. I'm not going to do any more crafting today. Um, but I am happy with what we did. Uh, as a, a refresher, I'll bring these back over here. So we did these. Of course, the dragons were the center stage. And then I poured this just to see. Of course, you know, I had to re-pour the bottom. And the piece that cracked is the piece that I love the best. I do not like the color. I will be repainting it, but I do like the mold. Um, and, you know, they're all, they're all the mixed mold. They're all casting powder, and they all look so different. The chameleon powders on these are just exquisite. So, yeah. And that's without calling glue, y'all. <laughs> that, that, uh, there's no black on here. <laughs> so, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's an hour and 31 minutes. I'm going to shut up. Say thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate each and every one of you. Please hit the thumbs up button for me. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Uh, you'll never know what you find on my channel. But I can almost guarantee you that it, somehow it will entertain you. And maybe you'll learn something. Uh, and I hope you all have a great Sunday. And I will see you on Monday. Bye-bye.